Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a simple password protected login application and will show you how to open, close, and hide multiple forms in that app. Here's the end product. It's just a login window. If I type in the wrong password, it beeps, it turns red. I can type it in again. The password is pencil. I could type it in lowercase or uppercase. When the correct uh, password is, is typed in, the main form opens. I have an exit button, a help button with a nice about. I can then open up the about window, teach you how to do that, and then close it with the exit. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a form. I call mine uh, form main, FRM main. I've turned it blue. I put a welcome label on it. You don't have to change the name of it. I just wanted to show that this was the welcome screen. I have put a menu strip on the form with an exit command, a help command, and an about command. Now I have no code behind any of this. I've just created this form. Again, just to show you, click on the form. The name of the form is form main or FRM main and the text of the form is FRM main just so we can distinguish our forms. We're going to have uh, three different forms in this application so it's nice to have them uh, easily distinguished rather than calling them form 1, form 2, and form 3. Say we were to make a nice application, this is where that application would, would reside. But say we want a password protected, we need to have a login window that opens first really want to make the main form first and then add the login form uh, second. So to do that we simply click on project. We're going to go to add windows form. We have a, a lot of forms to choose from. We're going to choose a windows form. It's the default. And notice that the, that the name here is form2.vb. So we're going to change the name of this form from form2 to frm login and then press the add button so here's the name of the form it's already got the text typed in and if we scroll up to the name you can see that the name is already saved for us as frm login I'm just going to quickly change the background color to a bright yellow I'm going to resize this just to distinguish between our forms, really. I'm then going to add a button to the form. I'm going to name the button CMD Login. And I'm going to change the text of the button to Login as well. Now that we have two forms in our project, and you can see them over here in the Solution Explorer, we have a form 1 and a form login. It might be important to show you this. If you click on the project, go to the properties, and you can see that the startup form is the main form. We could choose the startup to be the login. We really don't want to do that for lots of reasons. It just makes it simpler if you start up with the main form even though that's not the first one that the user will see. So let's go to our design window for form 1. This is the main form. And I'm going to double click this. So we're in the form main load uh, procedure. And I you know, it's going to seem odd while I'm telling you to do these next steps, but uh, trust me when I say that it came about trial and error, so um, you should probably take some time and try some things, and you'll see that this works out pretty well. You want this form to not be visible to the user, so we want this form to be minimized whenever it loads. So we type in me.windowsstate. I don't know why it doesn't type into IntelliSense. Trust me, it's there, window state equals, and we want it to be minimized. So I'm going to select the minimized option. 
And then I'm going to want the login form, frm login. I want that window state. equal normal and then I want to show that form form login dot show okay so whenever the form loads whenever the the program runs the main form is the first thing that's loaded it will be minimized the login window will be set to normal size and then I will show the login now we don't want the main form to be down in the in the taskbar at the bottom so the next thing we want to do is hide the main form. And that has to be done in the shown procedure. So right now I'm in the load method, rather, the load method. So I'm going to come down to the shown method. So when the main form is shown, I want to then immediately hide it. So me.hide. And I know that seems kind of roundabout method of doing this, but this is what worked for me. So if we run this, let's see what happens. Okay, We don't get any flash of the main form even loading. It loaded, minimized itself, and then hit itself while the form login was displayed. So now watch what happens here. Notice the stop button tells me that I'm currently running the program. If I kill this form login, the program, the application, is still running. You can see this because the stop hasn't, um, hasn't gone away. So now I have to stop the program because the form main is still running. It's just hidden, but it's still running. So to fix that, we want to click on the, the login, and we would like to double-click on the form login. That brings us to the form load, but we don't want the form load what we want to do is do something whenever the form is disposed, whenever the, whenever the user clicks the close button. So if they don't type in the right password and rather just click the X and, we dis and the form is disposed, we want to do something here. So we want to type in form main dot close. Okay. That will close the, the main form and when that happens the whole program then closes down. So if we rerun it, dispose of this form, now all of a sudden you can see that the, the whole application has stopped. Now let's make that button actually do something. So we're going to go to the login form, and when the user presses the login button, for right now let's just have the user press the button and then make that welcome window, that main form, open up. So double click on the login button. And when we click on the login button, we want to do a few things. We want to, first of all, show the main form. Okay, so that will show it, but the form is, again, minimized. So then we want to make the form dot window state equal normal. And then, of course, we want to hide the login form, but since we're in the login form, and this is where we're writing the code, the keyword me has to be used. Okay, so we're going to show the main form, make it normal sized, and then hide the login form. Okay, let's run that and see if that works. So we have the form pop up, we press the button. The login form has disappeared. The welcome window, the main form, has opened. Now if we kill this main form, notice that our application has stopped running. It's perfect. But of course we need to ask the user for a password. So we need to add a text box. Something like this, I guess. Okay, let's change the name of our text box to txt password and let's just say for example that our password is going to be pencil which comes from the movie war games for all of you who've seen that so now if we double click the the login button we'll have to test to see if the password is actually the correct one before we can open up the main form we're going to use this code here in just a minute but for right now I'm just going to move it down to the bottom so if txt password Dot text equals 
And I'm just going to use the capital pencil. So in here, this is where this bottom code will be moved. But if it's not equal to pencil, then we want to do an else statement. And perhaps we want, would like to make it beep, a little warning that you typed in the wrong command. Let's change the me.backcolor to red to warn the user. Let's also clear the text password dot text with the null string. And then let's give that text password focus again. That will put the cursor back into the text box. Now we can just move the code that we had written previously into the part of our if-then statement in case it's true. So if the user types in the word pencil, it will show the correct window and hide the login. Otherwise, it will beep, turn it red, and then have the user uh, guess again. So let's run it. Let's try a few things. I'm going to type in the word pen, login. It's going to beep, give us a red, clear the box, and put the focus back into the text box, which is nice. So we don't have to move our mouse again. Now let's type the word pencil in lowercase. Okay, I'm going to try to hit my enter key on the keyboard and see if that will run the login button. And you can see it, it doesn't. Even though it's beeping, it's not really running the, the code. If I press the login button, it beeps, clears the window. Now let's type in pencil in all caps, and we'll see that it should work. Here's our welcome, and we can close it. Now there are a few things we have to correct. One of the things that we should fix that I forgot to mention, let's run this again just really briefly. Notice that my text box here does not have the focus. So it would be nice to set the cursor like this inside the text box so the user does not have to use his or her mouse. So there are a number of things to fix. In the form login load procedure, we would like to do a few things. First of all, we need to show the form. It, if we don't show the form before we do this next step, it won't actually work. Another problem is that while the uppercase pencil is great and that may be what you want, it may be possible that we will also uh, permit um, a lowercase pencil to be typed in. We can simply use the ucase command which takes everything in parentheses, takes the argument, and makes it uppercase. Okay, so then if I type in lowercase pencil, then it will still work because once the code runs, it will take that text box, turn it all into uppercase, and then compare it to the uppercase pencil. And then finally, we want to be able to hit the enter key on the keyboard to make the button work. If we go back to our login, double click on the window here, double click, sorry, on the text box, we get a password text changed method running. We would like to change this to the key down. So come here, scroll up to key down. And so now this is the procedure we're going to run. And we've done this before. If the e.key code equals enter, okay, in other words, if when the user is typing into the text box, they hit the enter key, then this code will run. We of course want to call this command login click procedure. Command login click. And we have to send it a few arguments. The sender and the event argument. Alright, so now if we run it, a few things should be changed. Notice that the text box automatically gets the focus. I can type in lowercase pencil. It will still work and now I'm going to hit on the keyboard my the enter key and it opens up the next form. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're pretty close to being done.